Well, not everybody driving this week. Some people are flying to get where they need to go, including our own Michael Aaron. He's live at Clinton National Airport this morning to tell us what we can expect there. Michael. Well, Rob, thousands of people will come through Clinton National today. We've seen the TSA line kind of coming and going in waves. And as the flights start arriving here today, people will be right here where I'm standing, eagerly awaiting their loved ones. To find a sense of anticipation and pure joy this Thanksgiving, look no further than right outside the airport arrival gate. Carol Cagle is at Clinton National to pick up her daughter, son-in-law, and most importantly... We had to come get our biggest blessing right here. Her 14-month-old grandson, Brooks. I dropped everything. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what, yes, yes, God gave us a true blessing. The Thanksgiving period is one of the busiest we'll have all year. Clinton National spokesperson Shane Carter says more than 84,000 people will fly through the airport during the 11-day Thanksgiving travel period. That's about 5% more passengers than last year. The main thing is to get to the airport early. The airlines recommend about an hour and a half before your departure time. More people travel this week than a lot of other times during the year, and a lot of those passengers don't travel any other time but this time during the year. With winter weather impacting travel in other parts of the country, Carter suggests checking your flight status before heading to the airport and signing up for airline mobile alerts. Brooks and his parents made it here without issue. One of many things Carol is thankful for as they head out to celebrate the holiday. I work cooking at my house. Our other daughter's going to be there and her husband, my mother, and we're just going to be thankful and enjoy. And a happy Thanksgiving to them and everyone out there. So when you look at the arrivals and departures, we're talking about about 8,600 passengers here at Clinton National today. But actually the busiest travel day was last Friday. The second highest volumes will come this upcoming Sunday. Rob, back to you. Kind of brought tears to my eyes. See grandma's excitement over her uh, little grandbaby there. Good to see Michael. Thank you.